In this demo, I will act as a fraud analyst who has just been notified that a client, River Wisdom, has missed a loan payment and is not answering any phone calls or emails. With Lincurious Enterprise, I will investigate the situation and assess whether or not there's any suspicious activity occurring and if there's a potential fraud case by looking into the client and his connections. We will explore a database containing dummy client data, including people, addresses, emails, loans, and phone numbers, and we will see how Lincurious Enterprise makes it intuitive to explore complex data to uncover relevant information. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is log into our dashboard and look up River Wisdom. From here, you can see information on River on the left-hand panel. This information is customizable and will depend on what's inside your database. As you can see, there is the number five attached to River Wisdom. This means that there are five other entities connected to him. When I double click on the node, I see that River is connected to a bank account, home address, phone number, loan, and IP address. I can also be more specific about the way I'm traversing the graph since some relationships may not be relevant for me. I can use the undo button to go back to an earlier state. So for example, I can right click on the node to expand specific connections such as River's address and IP address. This makes it easy to control the way we're exploring the graph and how to avoid adding non-relevant information. If my data includes geospatial information, I can also display it on a map by switching to the geo mode. Here I can see the exact location of my node. If I expand again all of River Wisdom's connections, I see everything he is directly related to. But what if I want to explore his indirect connections as well? I can easily see that River's address and bank account are connected to other entities. By selecting these two nodes and expanding them, I'm able to see what other relationships exist. I first notice that a new person, Gardenia Rett, appears. Gardenia has registered the same address as River, which leads me to believe that they're living together. Gardenia also has a bank account that has transferred $10,000 into River Wisdom's account. I want to investigate further, so I'll select Gardenia and her bank account and expand all neighbors. New information appears that makes me question, first, what can possibly be connected to such unique information as an IP address and phone number, and second, who are the owners of the two new bank accounts that also appeared on my screen? To answer these questions, I'm going to dig a little deeper, so I'll expand all the nodes that are related to other entities. Now let's take a closer look into what's newly revealed in my investigation. There are three new individuals, Mark, Philippa, and Alan. Gardenia is connected to Alan via an IP address. She's also connected to Mark via a phone number. And finally, she's connected to Philippa via a bank transfer. Another question I ask myself is who are these three individuals and what are they connected to? With all of this new information, let's review what we have uncovered so far. I started the investigation with River Wisdom. After digging and inspecting over four layers of separation between River as a starting point and these new entities, here's what we have. Three out of the five people revealed during my investigation have loans in my bank. They all share several pieces of personal information, such as their phone number, home address, and IP address. They are all moving money from one bank account to another, and when we follow the money flow, we see that the money ends up in Alan's bank account. This signals a potential fraud ring where criminals are creating fake identities by recycling stolen information. These fake identities are then used to open real accounts and secure real loans. Not only is River not likely to pay back his loan, but it would be wise to freeze his accounts before they also disappear. Thanks to Lincurious Enterprise, I was able to quickly sift through phone numbers, addresses, IP addresses, and financial transactions to identify the situation. 
Lincurious Enterprise also has additional options to visualize your data with the information that's most useful to you. Let's say the current view is too complex, and I only want to focus on a specific part of the graph to better understand the situation. Under the filter panel, we can do just that. In this example, I'll filter out everything but the bank accounts and person nodes so that I can focus on the financial part of the situation. I do this by toggling the nodes I don't want to see to off, which then hides them from my view. This will provide me with a clearer overall picture. I can also filter my nodes even further by their properties. Here I'll filter the bank accounts by their amounts. I then see a histogram with the different amounts of money within the accounts displayed horizontally and their frequencies displayed vertically. I can see, for example, that there's just one bank account that has more than 240k. If I add a lower and upper bound, then I can use a slider to display whichever parameters I choose such as showing bank accounts with less than 60k. Another way to filter is by date. If I open the timeline section of the interface at the top right, I can select the time properties I want to analyze. The transactions are displayed in a histogram where the dates represent the horizontal axis and the frequencies are on the vertical axis. I can see, for example, that one transaction happened around March 2018 and two transactions happened around July 2018. By this point, we have gathered enough information about the case. It's now time to report it and take action. I can start by saving the visualization to have access to it later on. I may also want to use it in a PowerPoint presentation or to process the data in Excel. With the export option, it's easy to export it as a nice picture or spreadsheet and more. I can also choose to share the visualization in case I need to warn another colleague or ask for advice. I can add individuals and specify whether they will have read-only access or if they can modify it. Throughout this demo, we have explored how to manually navigate and investigate your graph data. We can truly see that Lincurious Enterprise's interface is intuitive and easily adopted by even non-technical users. Through additional features, such as our alert system and query templates, using Lincurious Enterprise enables analysts to eliminate blind spots and speed up their investigation process. To learn more about the power of Lincurious Enterprise and how to leverage your own data, feel free to contact us.